Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson and today we're taking a look at the Carl Zeiss 85mm f2.4 Loxia lens for the Sony E-mount system. The 85mm f2.4 is the fourth lens to be released from Carl Zeiss under the Loxia brand name. And like the others, it's a manual focus lens. While the Loxia lineup has been nothing short of impressive, a lot of people were surprised to see that it was an f2.4 aperture lens. Now while this may be disappointing to some, on the other hand it may also be a good thing because it gives native e-mount users who are looking for an 85mm lens more variety. So right now you've got the Sony 85mm f1.4 G Master, the 85mm f1.8 Batis lens from Carl Zeiss, and now you have the 85mm f2.4 Loxia lens from Carl Zeiss. While they all serve the higher end price tag, I think it's safe to assume that all of these lenses are going to give you very high quality images. So stay tuned because I'm going to give you a tour of the lens and at the end of the video, I'll let you know what I personally think of it. So stay tuned. The lens has an aluminium body and weather seals to protect it from dust and moisture. Keeping in line with the other Loxia lenses, it accepts 52mm filters and comes supplied with a metal barrel type lens hood with felt line within, which makes it look like a very long lens. There is a ribbed focus ring with a distance focus scale engraved and an aperture ring just below it which I'll touch more on later in the video. Given its compact size, the lens weighs approximately 594 grams. And that actually feels a bit heavy, but that is mainly due to its aluminium build, making it feel more solid in the hand. It makes for a good pair with the Sony a7 II series cameras, and while it's a bit long, especially with the lens hood attached, it still feels very well balanced. The focus ring is damp enough to make manual focusing very easy to get accustomed to. Of course, if you are using the a7 cameras, you have a variety of focusing aids such as peaking, manual focus assist, and focus magnifier. It can focus as close as 80 centimeters, and its physical length becomes longer as you focus on closer subjects. A handy feature which is shared among all Loxia lenses is the ability to turn off the clicking sound as you change your aperture. To do this, take the rear lens cap off the lens, Get the supply D-click tool and turn the adjustment screw. That's pretty much it. And now you can change your aperture without hearing the clicking sound. Now this is a great feature to have for video purposes for smooth adjustment of the aperture while filming. The 85mm f2.4 is made specifically for the a7 full frame cameras. You can still use this lens on crop sensor cameras, however due to its crop factor, it will actually be a 127.5mm lens. While shooting with this lens for a couple of weeks now, right off the bat I can say it's been a pleasure to use on my day to day outings. It's extremely sharp, even wide open, and gets even better stopping down. While it doesn't exactly have the low light capabilities of the other 85mm lenses, Having an f2.4 aperture didn't really bother me in the end. Out of focus blur was still relatively smooth but there was vignetting while shooting wide open. It wasn't really a big issue and I think it rather adds to the flavour of the lens. I didn't encounter any distortions or chromatic aberrations which is a big plus and of course you do get those Zeiss colours which have a lot of contrast and the photos just seem to pop. All of these shots were with the Sony a7R Mark II. Now, I did shoot quite a bit of video with this lens and it definitely left me with a very positive experience. With the focus ring being very smooth to adjust focus, as well as having that silent aperture ring. Now, I must mention there is no image stabilization, but if you are using the a7 II series cameras or the a6500, you have the benefit of having in-body stabilization, which would be beneficial for both your stills and videos. Now for this part of the video, I did use the a7S II in the XAVCS HD codec in a variety of frame rates from your slow motion at 100p to using 25p. The Carl Zeiss 85mm f2.4 is an interesting lens to use, although I absolutely love what it had to offer. 
I do think people will lean more towards the other 85 millimeter alternatives, which is a 1.4 G Master from Sony and the 1.8 Batis lens from Carl Zeiss. I would see this more as a niche lens for people who want something that's a bit more compact compared to the other two lenses and for people who love shooting manual focus without having to use a fly-by-wire system. In terms of its build, it has a solid construction with weather seals to match and despite having an f2.4 aperture, you're not going to be disappointed with it while shooting wide open. I would also see this more of a lens for people who love shooting portraits and street photography, although it can be used for other applications. Now that's it from me, but if you have any more questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you already own one, let me know what you think of it. And remember to like this video if you found it helpful. And subscribe to my channel for more Sony lens reviews and tutorials. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram for more photo updates and sample photos. And be sure to share this with someone who you think may find this helpful. Oh, and you can also find out more information on this lens in the description below. And until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching. Oh, there's another plane. Let's hope it doesn't get too windy. Something in my teeth. Move on. How now, brown cow? Let's see what I wrote. Oh, yeah. Ass is itchy. That's so close. Ah! Ah! Beautiful. Beautiful shot. Oh wow, that's a fantastic shot. Get into it. Walk this way! Talk this way! The lens itself, and at the end of the video, I'll give you my first 